Um, in the last couple of days, there's been quite a large discussion about some breakdown at the Large Hadron Collider. This is the huge physics experiment in um, Geneva. And there has been a substantial loss of helium. Nobody's quite sure how much into the experiment. Now, you could ask, why does anybody doing experiments into the Big Bang need helium? And the answer is that the apparatus is like a huge circle and it has charged particles, protons, going round and round. And so these particles have to bend round the corner and to make it bend they need very powerful magnets. And the helium comes in for making the magnets really powerful. And the way you make a magnet, some of you may have done this before, is you take a piece of wire and you wind it round into a coil like this round my finger. And if you want to make it really powerful, you do make a huge number of turns of the coil going round and round. And so the strength of the magnetic field depends on the number of co coils and <coughs> the current going through the wire. And the bigger the current, the more turns, the bigger the magnetic field. But of course, as you make the wire longer and longer to get more and more turns, when you put a current through it, it starts heating up, just like any sort of electric heater. And if you get it too big, the current will just melt the whole magnet. So if you want a really powerful magnet, then what you do is you have to make it out of a material which has no electrical resistance. So however much current you put through, within reason, it will not heat up at all because the wire has no resistance. And to do this, you need to take a material, so-called superconductor, which you cool to very low temperature and then suddenly it loses all its electrical resistance. And liquid helium is the best coolant for doing this because it can cool materials down to its boiling point of 4 degrees Kelvin. Or if you pump on it with a vacuum pump, rather like taking your tea to boil it at the top of a mountain, the boiling point goes even lower, just below 2 degrees absolute. That's minus 271 degrees centigrade. And then you can get really powerful magnets. And whatever has gone wrong in the LHC is involved in the magnets suddenly boiling off a large amount of helium. So the reason why helium has such a low boiling point is because in a liquid the molecules, or in the case of helium there's only one atom in the molecule, <coughs> in a liquid have a positive interaction. They interact, they attract each other, which makes it form a liquid rather than a gas. And the stronger the interaction between the molecules, the higher the boiling point. Water has strong interaction between the molecules, so it boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Mercury has an even stronger interaction, so it boils at a higher temperature. And helium has a combination of being a very light atom and having a very weak interaction. And it is the combination of very light atom and very weak interaction that gives this low boiling point. Yeah. I'll get a different angle because there's no problem. I'm just trying to think of two angles. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Very satisfying reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's all pretty.